Foreign key relationships involve a parent table that holds the central data values and a child table with identical values pointing back to its parent. The foreign key clause is specified in the child table. The parent table and child tables must use the same storage engine. Corresponding columns in the foreign key and the reference key must have similar data types. The size and sign of integer types must be the same. Now we can say MySQL supports foreign keys, which let you cross-reference related data across tables, and foreign key constraints, which help keep the separate out data consistent. How foreign keys help guarantee referential integrity? For storage engines supporting foreign keys, MySQL rejects any insert or update operation that attempts to create a foreign key value in a child table if there is no matching candidate key value in the parent table. When an update or delete operation affects a key value in the parent table that has matching rows in the child table, the result depends on the referential action specified using onUpdate and onDelete subclasses of the foreign key class. MySQL supports four options regarding the action to be taken. Cascade Delete or update the row from the parent table and automatically delete or update the matching rows in the child table. Set Null Delete or update the row from the parent table and set the foreign key column or columns in the child table to null. If you specify a set null action, make sure that you have not declared the columns in the child table as not null. Restrict rejects the delete or update operation for the parent table. No action, a keyword from standard SQL. In MySQL, equivalent to restrict, the MySQL server rejects the delete or update operation for the parent table if there is a related foreign key value in the reference table. For an on delete or on update that is not specified, the default action is always restrict. Foreign key constraint can be added using create table or alter table statement. This structure is about exam system database. I already covered it in details in the second tutorial from this series, and we have learned how to create students table. Based on this structure, we should know that tests and questions table considered to be parent table for question and test table. In this case, question and test is the child table for tests and questions, but parent table for a grade pair question table. Let's create these tables with adding necessary foreign keys to the child tables so that the foreign key constraints guarantee referential integrity. First off, let's create the parent tables. I'll begin with tests table. and questions table now let's create the child table question and test id test column will be foreign key reference to the id test in tests table don't forget, both columns should be the same data types and same size. ID question column will be foreign key reference to the ID question in a questions table. The last child table is the grade pair question. This table contains two foreign keys. ID student foreign key reference to the ID student in students table and ID question pair test reference to the ID question pair test in a question and test table.
Now, let's display the grades for all students in web programming test. From students table, I want to display name and surname. And from grade pair question, I want to sum the grades for each student. From table tests, I want to display the title of the test and the date for that test. So, in this query, we will join multiple tables into a single select statement. Select name, surname, sum the grades, title and date. Basically, the result depends on four tables from students, grade pair question, question and test and tests. The first table students joined with grade pair question on ID student column and grade pair question joined with question and test table on ID question pair test column. Question and test table joined with tests table on ID test column. You can save yourself some typing and make queries a little clearer by using natural join. This kind of join takes two tables and automatically joins columns that have the same name. So, to achieve the same results for the previous query, students table natural joined with a grade pair question and a grade pair question natural joined with a question and test. Question and test natural joined with tests. If you wish to specify the column in which to join two tables, use the join on construct. Students table joined with a grade pair question on ID student. And grade pair question joined with a question and test on ID question pair test. Question and test joined with tests on ID test. Whatever kind of data you are storing in your database, it must have some value to you. Therefore, it's important that you keep backups to protect your investment. Also, there will be times when you have to migrate your database over to a new server. In the next tutorial, we'll learn how to make backing up and restoring data in MySQL.